You may have known Tom Kalinske as the man behind Sega's rise to power in the early 1990s. As the president and CEO of Sega of America from 1990 to 1996, Kalinske took Sega from relative obscurity in the North American home video games market to capturing arguably close to 50% of home console and game sales in just a couple short years. Sega's 8-bit console, named the Master System in most of the Western world, was considered a failure, and Kalinske was chosen by Sega of Japan president and CEO Hayao Nakayama to give their 16-bit console the genesis a fighting chance against the monolith known as Nintendo. Kalinske had recently left Mattel, where he was single-handedly responsible for saving the Barbie and Hot Wheels lines of toys in the 70s and 80s, and also went on to create the He-Man universe of toys and media. Kalinske was the perfect man for the job of turning Sega into a household name in America. He made many bold moves, changing distribution, marketing, and overall landscape at Sega, but it really wasn't until he Americanized the Sonic the Hedgehog game concept and had game designer Yuji Naka drastically overhaul the look and feel of the new Hedgehog game that Sega began to get some traction. Sonic the Hedgehog was supposed to be a Mario killer, and indeed it was a runaway hit. The summer and fall of 1991, leading up to the holiday season, would see the biggest sales growth the company had seen thus far thanks to Sonic the Hedgehog and because of Kalinske's leadership and instincts. It must be said that if it was not for the team of dedicated people around him, they never would have reached the short-lived heights that they did. Kalinsky was a master people person and was able to surround himself with excellent people who are visionaries and pioneers. It is safe to say if not for Kalinsky's efforts, you probably wouldn't have even heard of Sega 30 years later. But thanks to him, the name Sega holds a very special reverence in the hearts of most gamers. The six years that Kalinsky was with Sega were by far the best years Sega ever had. And we all need to thank Tom Kalinsky for doing what he did. Thank you.